Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to a guide to Thormic Tinkerer 2. Got a couple of more items to show you guys today. One of them is the Wand Focus of Distortion and the other is the Aspectalizer. Now, the Aspectalizer does require you to have uh, Computer Craft installed, otherwise it won't be there. So uh, we'll, we'll get to that in just one second. However, the first item I want to get into is the Wand Focus Distortion. Okay guys, so how do you get the wand focus of distortion? Well, you need air, motus, mortis, and auto. Now, yeah, I don't think you need that many of them, in all honesty, because uh, I'm actually missing one at the moment. What am I missing? I've got auto, mortis, is it mortis I'm missing? No. Oh, I've already got it, so I can't actually do that. But there is a, a couple more, so I think you only need three of these to really, you know, um, make sure everything lines up and and, and discover this discovery. So, uh, but there's there's four that you can actually do. Uh, you can that you can choose from. So the one focus of distortion. Let's go and have a look at this guy. Bloop. Good stuff. Research completed. This is what I like to see. Inside the thaumaturgy, it's right at the top here. One focus of distortion. You created a focus to protect you from incoming fire. This focus, when in use, will constantly drain vs from the wand it's inserted on. In order to summon a wand, uh, a ward around the caster, making ordinary projectiles pass through them harmlessly. Ordinary projectiles include, ar include arrows, snowballs, or potions. It seems the ward is not strong enough to display stronger attacks, like fireballs or wither, he uh, or wither heads. Uh, okay, so you need an order shard, a one focus of uprising in the centre there with two mirrored glass and a paving stone of warding at the bottom there. It's an infusion, it's a moderate infusion as well, you need 15 air, 20 auto and 5 tutorman. So once you've got that guys, let's go ahead and grab that ourselves and give it a bit of a test. There it is. Whee, it's on, it's on there now. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, undo this, uh, this knight here and set it to night time. I'm also going to make life a bit harder on myself and go ahead just to over here for a second and um, get in some spawn stuff. I'm going to spawn in. I'll get us loads of angry zombies. Why not? Why not? Oh, it's unpeaceful. One second. Difficulty one. There we are. Right. Uh, this was like the the wrong type of thing to to add in here. Um, I do not want to get killed. That's for sure. Hey, go away. Go away. Go away. Right, I'll shut up enough time. There we are. Right, let's go back up there. Let's try that again, shall we? We need something with projectile stuff, man, not angry zombies. So we'll get some skeletons on the crack, and uh, we'll hope that uh, that they can do the job this time. Right, spawn, where are you? Skeletons, there you are. So we'll try that again. Difficulty one. It's now on easy. And is it working? It is. It's not actually displacing them, it's just destroying them before it gets to me. This, I like. I like this. I'm not sure how much it's draining though. It, it does drain quite a lot, but uh, you know, for what it does, I think this is a, a really good thing. Uh, you obviously, when you're doing this, you can't move really fast either, so you can't, you, you know, you can't get out of the way of stuff. Oh, I got, got shot. Oh, what? It didn't work. There we are. Right. So that is the one focus of distortion. Remember, guys, looking in the uh, the thermonomic, and it does say that uh, it displaces arrows, snowballs, or potions, which is good because uh, the, the witches are a little bit of a pain in the backside with those potions. So uh, you've got to watch out for that. So that is the one focus of distortion. 
Welcome back, guys. We have got our next item, which uh, is power. Is it, the one focus of, of distortion was actually added in a different version than what this this is, which is the aspectalizer, which is the computerized scanning. Remember that you do have to have Computercraft installed to be able to actually use this. Uh, you will not be able to find the aspectalizer without Computercraft. So to find this, you're going to need Cognitio, Machina, and Census. Uh, once you've got that, you'll be able to get the aspectalizer. And this thing is an absolute computer craft person's dream. So the aspectalizer here, computerized scanning. Let's go ahead and have a look at what this uh, this actually is. So you need th four thormium ingots. You need four great wood planks and a thermometer in the middle there with one ardo and one peditio. I don't know if that's right. I don't know whether it's it's meant to be one. Maybe it's meant to be a little bit more than that. I don't know. But uh, it, it's one of each. Now, the aspect allows you created a device that allows computers to know what aspects an item has. This block acts like a normal inventory. Any items in it can be scanned for use of a computer. Visit the peripheral documentation entry for more info. Now, basically, that just points back to this computer craft peripherals. And then it says to go and have a look at, uh, at, the, at Vasquez's actual uh, website there. And uh, that's got all the stuff that's inside there. So let's go ahead and have a look and see what this guy does. Alright guys, I am back and this is a really, really quick update here on uh, on how to use the Aspectalizer. Now of course, uh, it comes with, you know, computer craft and uh, there's, there's a few, there's a, a, quite a bit that you can do with this. Um, however, I'm not going to go into like a huge amount of detail. Number one, because I really don't know computer craft very well at all. You know, I've got somebody to uh, to help me out with uh, with this in particular because I have no idea. I can't code for the life in me. So in order for you guys to know what this does, I had to to find somebody who could code and could help me out with this. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, um, there's. It, it will show you, look at this, you can put in here and it'll show you what the, you, what you can get. It will show you the uh, the aspects of what you can get. Now you can also wrap this to the computer and uh, you can get it to list aspects. If I go ahead and do that, this is a really quick thing. This is nothing, you know, I'm going to go in a lot more detail in this uh, when it comes around to my full-on mod spotlight of Tinker's uh, Atomic Tinkerer. So, now that is a real quick thing, real quick. It's you can do a lot more with this. You can you can do a lot more with this, but this is a real quick, um, just a little snippet into what you can do with this. So as you can see, uh, list aspects. It comes with the it comes with the, uh, some stuff which I will put. Oh no, mind you, I told you about that anyway. You can go to that link that was in the uh, in the Thermonomicon, and that will send you to a page that will give you all the computer craft, uh, the uh, the the things that you can put in. So as you can see, aspects in item in aspectalizer is true. There is an item in there. Item has aspects. That's also true. It does have aspects. And as you can see, it's done a little table there um, with uh, with Saxum and Peditio, and it, it shows the amount that's in that particular thing as well. So there's one Saxum and one Peditio. So it's just a really quick example of what you can do with the aspect uh, the aspectalizer. Not only that, but of course you can just put stuff in there. And uh, oh, does that not have any aspects? That one does. It might be because I haven't actually physically found those aspects yet, which makes sense. If I haven't actually searched these particular things, like I see a look, uh, because at the moment this this thing here, it won't work with anything that's not got Saxum or Peditio in it. Uh, because of just the, the way that it is. So you can see there is an item in there. There is uh, It has got aspects, but there is no Saxum and no Peditio inside that item, which is true. There isn't. So uh, that's a really quick look at the Aspectalizer and what it can do. But like I said, guys, I'm not a computer craft expert. This is not my forte of, uh, of, of, of stuff that I can show you. So um, there's a lot more stuff that I'm actually going to go through with computer craft and, and the integration between computer craft and uh, Thormit Tinkerer. But that won't be until the spotlight. Now, what, I'm go what plans are, guys? Now, Vasquez promised me that he's not adding anything else. I've heard this before. We'll, we'll see what happens. What I'm going to do now, guys, is go on and do a full-on mod spotlight of Thormic Tinkerer, not including any of the research, just going over the items, doing what the, show, showing what the items do, and so on and so forth. And uh, what I'm going to do is split that into two different parts. I'm going to do 
the items as they are. I may split it into uh, uh, quite a few different parts actually. Maybe do you know once uh, one per tab or something like that. Or I might just just leave it as it is and you know do a a big part on all of the items. But I want to do um, a part on all of the items and a separate part on the computer graft integration. Now the thing is. I don't know what I'm doing with computer craft, so I'm going to enlist the help of uh, maybe Alan from uh, the Redwood server, see if he can, he can help me out with that uh, with that particular mod spotlight. You know the computer graft integration with uh, with Thomas Tinker as well. Maybe Vasky might be around at the same time, so we can all have a little uh, a little tete a tete, and they them two can maybe talk talk amongst one each other. I don't know because me, I just look at it and it's all it goes straight over my head. I really have no idea with that stuff, and I want you guys to get the best information you can. So what better information than than, than to get a, an actual um, a computer programmer and the mod maker himself. I reckon that would be a, a pretty good uh, mod spotlight and a pretty good show off of Thormit Tinkerer's integration with Computer Graft. But that is it for this episode, guys. A couple of new items there the One Focus Distortion and the Aspectalizer. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. So until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.